welcome to the session on vitamin b12 this is a very interesting topic because there are many people who are concerned about whether their vitamin b12 is levels are normal and what to do about it so this is a very special vitamin uh, because out of the vitamin other b vitamins this one can be stored in the body and uh, this is a vitamin b12 is a small group of compounds it is called cobalamin and it plays a vital role in our health uh, because it is crucial for a healthy brain and uh, healthy immune system and it is a powerhouse b12 plays a major role in making dna and it also helps keep our nerve cells and red blood cells healthy and so it uh, affects Uh, many functions in a positive way when it is uh, the when the levels are normal and um, when b12 deficiency happen uh, there are a number of symptoms which happens you will feel uh, fatigue and uh, shortness of breath many uh, many conditions associated with anemia like no unexplained tiredness or pallor um, weakness all this and also some of the symptoms which is connected with the nervous system like memory loss can happen tingling pins and needles in the hand can happen and uh, <coughs> uh, even poor muscle function and uh, shaky body balance issues can happen weakness of uh, uh, limbs can happen and general weakness also can happen it also can create soreness of the tongue that is one of the visible symptoms which we see and uh, chest pain or even up to no slurred speech and even risk of heart disease all these are the result of the deficiency in vitamin b12 because you know when the levels come low cell division is impaired and uh, uh, neurological and muscle uh, functions are impaired and also you know there is too much of homocysteine that is why there is a risk of heart disease and methyl malonic acid uh, is affected so the reasons can be one is uh, dietary insufficiency if you take food which is uh, not sufficient uh, in b12 uh, then you can have a deficiency and because see other than uh, besides the dietary sources it is also b12 is also made via bacterial synthesis in the gut so anything which affects the gut can also cause a, a deficiency uh, like impaired absorption uh, sometimes your food will contain b12 but absorption is impaired and uh, like no if uh, surgeries uh, like gastric bypass surgery or any you know uh, uh, like diseases like crohn's disease inflammatory bowel disease and uh, even in pernicious anemia and uh, too much bacterial overgrowth in intestine like that with a number of reasons this deficiency can be formed and uh, uh, also with some medications like you know, medications high in estrogen like uh, oral contraceptives certain medications if you are taking long also b12 can be uh, found less and uh, uh, what can we do about this one is of course you no know, improve uh, the your diet your diet will uh, diet containing vitamin b12 the sources are uh, and the milk is a source and yogurt buttermilk cheese Uh, like even the cottage cheese paneer and also it is found in uh, whole grain you no know, uh, the bran if you are eating rice or wheat whole whole rice or whole wheat and especially if it is fermented then you you get b12 vegetables and uh, f- um, fruits are of course uh, less source of b12 but still in beet spinach in certain type of mushroom it is available potatoes apple banana berries this is very minor source of uh, b12 and we don't need a lot of b12 in our body 
the daily dosage uh, is like you no know, 2.4 2 to 3 uh, mcg even when you are pregnant and when you have special needs also up to 2.8 up to 3 this is the daily dosage which you need and it is stored in the liver so up to 4 to 5 years it is stored in the liver and b12 is a water soluble vitamin so unlike fat soluble vitamin if you it doesn't accumulate in the body and create problem it is excreted through the urine so even if you take little more of b12 no for, uh, no problem it will get excreted only a small amount is absorbed actually because that is only needed for healthy functioning and if you have any of the diseases what i told you have to take care of the disease then only the absorption of b12 will be uh, improved so that you can deal with the deficiency only with the diet you may not be able to deal with the condition and uh, how ayurveda sees this is uh, like no there is uh, the absorption of uh, any vitamin there is it is connected with the gut intelligence and gut intelligence is majorly connected with uh, vata uh, dosha happening properly if when you have a vata imbalance your gut intelligence is affected and then your absorption is uh, not happening properly so make sure you no know, if you have vata find out whether you have vata imbalance and whether it is affecting your digestive system vata imbalance can affect any system that is what we find from the nadi you no know, what is the imbalance and it is affecting which system so find out if it is affecting your digestive system and take care of that then your b12 deficiency can be tackled very easily and uh, especially you know fermented food is very essential one is because you know it acts as a probiotic and also in that atmosphere the absorption of b12 is more so what you can uh, do is there is one uh, how you include all the sources which i told you and you don't need a lot of milk products in your diet a little a small cup of milk or small cup of yogurt a little bit of cheese twice a week that all is enough to increase your b12 uh, um, levels in the body and also you can do this this is a very special uh, recipe uh, which can help you in b12 deficiency you cook your uh, whole rice either red rice or black rice cook it uh, properly it will take a long time because it is whole rice it doesn't cook so easily like white rice cook it a small cup maybe 2 tablespoon cook it very nicely and let some water remain do not drain the water and add 2 teaspoon of yogurt homemade yogurt homemade curd into that and then leave it overnight leave it and uh, next day morning it will be little fermented and that you can make it into a smoothie you can mix it uh, make it as a smoothie and you can add spices you can add uh, cumin and a pinch of ginger uh, and a little sign of salt so it becomes a salty smoothie and if you want to make it a uh, like you no know, sweet smoothie you can add little bit of jaggery and uh, then have it uh, but because you had curd a salty smoothie will be better for you so you follow that <laughs> unless you have a very sweet tooth uh, so take this uh, every day morning on empty stomach you can take this for 45 days and then you will see a big difference in the uh, b12 levels and uh, uh, e e you easy way to find out is of course a blood test otherwise these symptoms which i told uh, that can happen in other conditions also so you will not know so it is better to get your blood checked so that you can you know b12 uh, deficiencies there otherwise a clinical assumption is only possible possibly these symptoms or whatever we see uh, possibly it should be uh, because of the b12 and sometimes false negatives also come and also so you know uh, it takes many years after you have a lot of b12 deficiency only all the symptoms will happen and uh, usually people ask no can i take supplements and can i take injections uh, what i would suggest you can take supplements but if you have an absorption problem it will take many months to make major, minor changes uh, in the body in the b12 level 
so injections are also okay if you, you know suddenly you need you have lot of symptom and suddenly you need a raise in your b12 it is okay injections you can take and uh, dosage you should uh, get monitored and decide the dosage of the injections or uh, supplement and uh, it is always you see any nutritional supplement it is always needed for so for a, a immediate effect you may take a supplement or injection but it is always good you adjust the diet and take care of your gut health your metabolism and then tackle with the problem so add all these food uh, whichever we have discussed here and that special recipe which i told about the fermented rice smoothie and that will help you to increase your b12 levels so i hope this was useful thank you for joining me and next wednesday i will see you with another wellness tattwa